Hi folks, this is Max from GalaxyS2Root.com So I've got a quick ROM overview of Showstock ROM um, Now, I've actually figured out a great way to run this with great battery life I know the previous versions you were having problems um, What I just did was I installed the latest Showstock uh, Which I was having actually some problems um, Just connecting my phone to my computer, my phone reboot, um, some weird things So I was going to do another ROM review uh, but then I installed Sia kernel, and uh, you know, uh, without Sia, it it comes with uh, Jabu kernel, which you can't overclock. With this one, you can overclock. Everything working very very smooth. So I highly suggest you try this combination, uh, Showstock three, um, and the uh, Sia kernel, and uh, holding back button on this ROM will force close. And I did a full overview um, about a month ago, but. A lot of things have gotten even better. Um, the developer of Showstock has made this ROM even stabler. And with Sia kernel, it's running really nice. Um, you got the transparent multi window enabled for all apps here. It works flawless. I think this is probably the best ROM uh, if you use Sia kernel, definitely. And there we go. And I've got it actually overclocked, and this makes it work even better. Uh, let me show you my overclock settings. It actually comes with S tweak saps. You don't have to install set CPU. Uh, I just did that before installing Sia kernel. Uh, with S tweaks, you should be able to overclock it easily to uh, 1.6 up to 1.6 gigahertz. Go ahead and do try uh, running at 1.6. Um, I'm actually getting pretty good battery life even at 1.6, and uh, that's kind of cool. Um, you can see my maximum frequency. I've set it to 1.6 gigahertz, or uh, yeah, that. And also, you can set it a little bit lower, 1.5, um, if it reboots or if it's not stable. It just depends on the phone you have. Every CPU is different because it's you know every CPU is built uh, from sand. Silicone is made from sand, uh, which can vary, you know, according to the chip you have. So it's just a uh, pick out of the chocolate box. Or whatever. Anyway, uh, CPU voltage. I don't. I wouldn't really mess with that. CPU tuning. If you really want to mess with it, you can. But I. I wouldn't mess with much of this. That's for advanced users. If if you're pretty good with CPU, maybe you work at Intel. Um, go ahead and mess with it. Or if you're a programmer, um, you know what these things do. Go ahead and mess with it. Uh, for GPU, you can change the frequency steps. This is how uh, the you know the GPU, which is a graphic. Graphic CPU pretty much um, it steps up as it's needed, and you can overclock these. You can try raising these values a little bit at a time um, for AC games and whatnot. Sound uh, B BLN no that's LED notifications, um, more stuff here, and also do boot. You can do this on this ROM. Um, so very nice with Sia kernel. You can do all of that. Um, and also, there's a ton of, you know, ton of ton of features added. Um, you know, mainly you can go to lock screen here, um, and also lock screen options, and you can get the ripple effect if you want, and also you can get ink effect if you want. Um, choose orange here, and also you can get AOSB lock screen if you want. There we go. There you go. So that's my new lock screen there. Um, some more cool options, and actually, there's a lot more stuff. I'm not sure if there's the lock screen torch. No, uh, I'm not sure. No, I don't think so. Uh, but very solid ROM. If you're looking for a TouchWiz base ROM, if you want to be on the latest Samsung TouchWiz uh, with all of the good stuff, this ROM is fast out of the box. But with Sia overclocked to 1.6 gigahertz. It's crazy fast, and I, I love it, you know. And the multi-window just works flawless, you know. You can set it up there, uh, right side if you want to. Hold down the tab bar. Whoops. And if you don't like the multi-window, you can always uh, also. I think it's. I'm having a hard time moving it back. There we go. Um, you can also disable it. There we go and it will make the bar go away. So that's how you can toggle it uh, if you need multi-window. Um, so check it, check it out for this week's ROM of the week. It's Showstock ROM, the latest version. 
along with the uh, Sia kernel. I didn't realize this, but it runs so much better with Sia kernel. Definitely try this option if you haven't. And do let me know what you think of this combination. Uh, but certainly one of the best combinations you will ever find on the at and Galaxy S2. Uh, and do let me know what you uh, what your experience is like. You know, run it for a couple of days, and uh, very good for um, you know, very good for running as a um, daily driver. And uh, if you have a Galaxy S2, as always, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, galaxyS2.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the week tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here, subscribe button down there. And I'll see you guys soon. I'm going to keep searching for the best ROM of the week. And don't forget, you can tweet me um, your ROM suggestions. Uh, tweeting me is the best. That way, I can actually keep track. If you email me, it's kind of hard for me nowadays. Um, if you tweet it, I can favor it and I can kind of keep track of it. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys later. Stay high on Android and happy V-Day. Uh.